a review. It's been a little while, but I am trying a new product. And uh, to be honest, it is because Emblem doesn't have what I need. So uh, Emblem, I'm not able to get this sativa right now. The Paradise Island is currently out of stock and it's been out of stock for probably just over two weeks now. So my stock of them is getting low and it is raining. So I am dealing with migraines and nausea and I find the Paradise Island is what seems to help combat the nausea the best. Um, it really does help me get my appetite. It allows me to eat during a migraine. It's very beneficial or else I start losing a lot of weight because I just throw up a lot. Now, if it's a, when I have a really bad migraine, I throw up no matter what anyways, but at least I get hungry. <laughs> so it, worst of all, at least it gives me the munchies, which is always nice, but it's out of stock. So I went to a local cannabis retailer and they are, it's called Toke Cannabis and they were very helpful, very friendly. I will take you through. I took a little bit of a video. Um, they've got these like light up boards that you can go in and all the products are on these like digital boards. Now I find a lot of the cannabis supply places now actually have these digital boards. And I think they're good in some ways and bad in others. I find some of them, they've got them and they like switch, they change. So it's like, uh, and I'm I'm super dyslexic, right? So I'm a slow reader and it's like you're trying to read and then it's like you have to wait <laughs> for it to come back again to be able to finish reading whatever product it is. Whereas I found at Toke, they had uh, multiple boards that you could see with the different products on them. So like there was one one board for one product and another board for another product, which was very kind of helpful. Just it made it quick and easy to find something that I wanted. Now I took one of their recommendations because a lot of the products that they had, I've already done reviews on. I didn't find they had a huge selection. I didn't want to spend an arm load of money. So I wasn't looking to spend a, a ton on something just because I, if it's something I know that works, I will spend the money for it. But just on a whim because I couldn't find something, I, I'm a little more skeptical than I, I, um, it just, it, it wasn't something that I wanted to spend a whole bunch of money on. I didn't want to buy a hundred dollar cartridge. So I wanted to keep it on the more reasonable side of things. So I was looking on the cheaper end of the scale. A lot of the products I've already tried, just to be honest, that they had there. So, so I got Johnny Chronic and it is called Cherry Bomb. So it's a high sativa, which is what I was looking for because sativas I find work best for nausea. And this was on the recommendation of the guys that worked there. The one guy said he hadn't personally tried it, but then the other guy behind the little like hidey hole place where they dispense stuff, he said he had just had the pre-rolls the night before and he really liked them. And they've been going really quickly. I guess a lot of people have been buying it and really liking it. So just the fact that people are buying it, I figured I'd give it a shot. So it's called Cherry Bomb. So uh, the total THC is 84% and the CBD is 0.39. So there's like just a tiny bit of CBD and a lot of THC. So it's 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 a higher um, high THC content cartridge, absolutely. But we will give it a shot and see what comes of it. I have no idea. I wonder if the cherry refers to like flavoring because I know sometimes they they have flavoring sometimes they don't um, but I'm just going to show you the package one more time this is the back and we're going to go ahead and open it and try to huh, this isn't that bad so it's just a rip of the top hopefully I didn't speak too soon Hmm. Uh oh, it's another one of these things. The 
there's no extra flap. Maybe. It's child proof and it's me proof. Why are all of these videos me struggling trying to get, oh, there we go, I got it. I just stuck my finger in it. <laughs> so there it is inside. There it is. The Johnny Chronic Cherry Bomb Cartridge. Look at that guy. So I don't see any distinctive markings on it to tell you that it's the cherry bomb. So I wonder if all the cartridges just look the same. So if you use multiple of their products, might be a little difficult to tell the difference between the two, kind of like uh, what I ran into when I was using the train rack, because there's no real identifying markers on which strain it is. So this is the first one that I've tried, but that just might be something, because it doesn't say anything on it. It just says Johnny Chronic. It doesn't say Cherry Bomb anywhere. So there's no real way of telling the difference between them. Might make it a little different. Make, make it a little interesting if you use it regularly. Now, I was reading on their website that they are in Saskatchewan and Manitoba mostly, and they're now just in Ontario. So it's kind of neat to see them here. Well, we'll give it a shot and I'll keep you going. Okay, I am doing a super quick review while my hair looks super scary today. Sorry, I've been at the beach, so <laughs> my hair is scary. Um, but, and I'm now taping on the floor because my dog is super clingy and needy because I have him at home this morning. Anyways, besides the point, Johnny Chronic, the Cherry Bomb, uh, I'm going to do the review finally for it. I've been using it. It's lasted me quite a long time, I have to say, although I have been using other ones in between. I do use um, a Zen Garden by Emblem for a CBD. But this is the sativa that I have been using to help combat the nausea I've been suffering with these weather cycles that have just been great for my body. And so I tried this one, the Cherry Bomb. To be honest with you, I was looking at it going, I don't even remember the name of it because there's no name on it. It's just Johnny Chronic, Johnny Chronic, the name of the company that makes it. It's not actually... There's no label that's telling you what kind it is, but this is the Cherry Bomb. So what I have to say about the Cherry Bomb is it's very green and it reminds me, I, I said this earlier when I was opening it, it almost reminds me of the Trainwreck by Red Can because all the Red Can products don't have the labeling that is similar um like they don't have the names of them on it it's just the name of red can and there's same with johnny chronic there's no um distinction between the type of cannabis that's actually in the cartridge and um to be surprisingly honest with you <laughs> this reminds me of the train rack now i really really like the train rack it gives you a really good buzz and so does this one it makes me feel very happy and just awake and alert and it gives me a I'm I'm focused like I can do stuff with this one whereas if I'm doing a hybrid or something like that it's not so focused oriented I find I tend to have a little harder time to try and do especially like paperwork and things like that on a hybrid especially on a migraine when I'm just trying not to throw up on my computer uh, it, 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 and it, the hybrids are hard because they just make you want you put your head down on the computer as well because it makes you kind of tired I find personally so this one it gave me in a wake high it gave me nausea relief which is fantastic 
So would I use this again? Yeah. For the price point, not bad. I mean, would I choose this or the train rack? I'd probably just go with the train rack because it's a little bit cheaper. But to be honest with you, I really like this one. So a company I've never heard of before now and is brand new to me. Um, this is the first product I've ever tried by Johnny Chronic and the Cherry Bomb is a win on my uh, record. So I would get it again for sure. Good price point, good, well, yeah, it's, it's a good price point. I'm just cheap. <laughs> so it is a good price point for what you're getting. And I really did enjoy it or am enjoying it. I'm not quite yet done it, but it is quite good. So I will leave you with that. And if you've tried it, let me know what you think of it. If it was in your uh, top recommendations or not so top recommendations, let me know how it made you feel because I'm always I'm always interested to know. Now I use it for my nausea and I find it really helped with it, but I don't know if you use it for something else. Let me know. And if you like these videos, please click subscribe down below uh, to follow along and you'll get weekly videos with updates as to what's happening, what I'm reviewing or what I'm encountering in my crazy, yeah, digestive system. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thanks for watching and see you next week.